Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we're going to show you all the details for how to get infinite items in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Earlier in the week we already went over the new 1.1.2 cloning glitch that allowed you to get the menu glitch up and do all of that fun stuff that was patched out in 1.1.1 and now we're going a little bit step further in today's guide and show you how you can get infinite items in brilliant diamond and shining pearl using a similar process that we've already covered so without further ado let's hop into game be easier to go over all the details and show you exactly how to do it. So the items that this is relevant to are gonna be anything in your bag. You're gonna need a minimum of one item to do this, this method with, um, but you can have multiples of items that will definitely speed the whole process up, especially if you are leveling your Pokemon up. You're gonna need probably about 99 rare candies. That's the maximum amount you would need. You may want 100 just to have one extra in case this goes wrong, but I'm sure it won't. But just in any case, about 99 rare candies will make this process as fast as possible, especially for leveling up. Other items that you're gonna to wanna to probably use are things like PP ups, things like ability patches that you can get from the battle zone, um, and vitamins as well. If you have about 26 vitamins, then you can use that 26 infinite number of times to just max out EVs on Pokemon and EV train things super quickly. The same can be said for the uh, EV reducing berries. If you can just get 26 of those EV reducing berries in each single one, then you're gonna be able to reduce the EVs of your Pokemon really easily and not lose any berries or have to plant anymore or anything like that. So this method can be applied to a multiple number of items and is super, super easy to set up. So how to do it is, what we wanna be doing is standing outside a Pokemon Center. You want your Pokecatch app open and you wanna be hovering your icon over fly and then hitting A and L on your controller and then just kind of spam this over and over until the map appears like this. Then once it does, you're still gonna be able to control your character while the map's up. So you wanna just head inside the Pokemon Center. Once you're in the Pokemon Center, you wanna go up two spaces and then you wanna go across seven spaces or just hit across until you go down the escalator. And then once you're down the escalator, you'll see the black screen appear that you're going down the escalator. You can also listen out for it as well. And you wanna just hit right again, which will take you back up the escalator. Then once you're here, you wanna hit left five times. One, two, three, four, five, and then down one, two, three. And that should take you outside the Pokemon Center. Sometimes two, sometimes three, depends. But once you're outside the Pokemon Center, you wanna change over to the right analog stick and then go to a city that you can fly to or a location that you can fly to. This next bit is the tricky bit because you wanna be hitting A, which will bring up the location to say, do you want to fly to this location? But at the same time, you want to be hitting X just after that. So it's like a timing thing. And I know a lot of you from the previous video had a lot of issues getting this working. But like I say, once you've got your time down for this, it makes it so much easier. So you want to be hitting A and then X. And it should bring up the option where you've got your menu over the top of the map, but you've still got the yes, no option for the location that you want to fly to and you just want to hit yes and that should take you to the location that you, well it will take you to the location that you were hovered over but that is the menu glitch set up right now and um, this is what we need so the next step is to go into your bag like you already see I've got a Pokemon I've got Jirachi here uh, in my party level five Ooh. one thing to note when you fly to a location when you're going through your bag use your right analog stick if you use your D-pad like I've just done, you're gonna walk into the Pokemon Center. So it's better to just use this analog stick because it won't allow your character to move as well because your character is still gonna move underneath here. What you wanna be doing is coming to your item that you want to uh, use an infinite amount on. It can be your vitamins, it can be your EV reducing berries or red candies or ability patch or whatever. So what you wanna do is here for this instance, we're gonna do rare candies. We wanna click on our rare candies. We want to use this item, yes. We want to go down to Jirachi and we're going to give it 95 to take it to level 100. So this is the important bit and you need to keep note of these steps because you don't want to go too far with these steps because you will lose your items, okay? So you want to just give the items to Jirachi or whichever Pokemon it is. Click A 
you'll see the XP here and it's this next screen you press A again bring up these stats okay these are the final stats of it at level 100 now here is the key do not press A past this point what you want to do instead is press X and bring up another menu and if you can see in my bag as well we've still got 156 rare candies it hasn't registered that they've been used but Jirachi is actually sitting on level 100 and then this screen once you've brought the menu up you want to hit R and it'll save the game. You want to just save? Yep. You can see there, Jirachi's level 100. We've still got 156 rare candies in our bag. And at this point, because you've saved, you want to just hit your home menu, quit out, and then come back into the game. Okay, so once you're back in the game, obviously we're in the Pokemon Center because we moved into that spot, but you want to come back into the game. Uh, and you can see our Jirachi is level 100, which is great. And if we go into our bag, we should be able to go over to our rare candies. And yet we still have 156 of them. So it hasn't registered that we've used those items, but Jirachi's sitting on level 100. So and technically we've just had a free 95 rare candies. And you can use this over and over and over again until your heart's content with these items. Just bear in mind, every time you do this, it is one process. So to do another Pokemon with the rare candies, for instance, Instance, we'd have to set that whole glitch up again and then do that whole process again save like we did come back into the game and then repeat the process for the next Pokemon so friends I hope you find this guide useful I hope you find this technique useful again just if you are wondering and you want a bit more in-depth with how the setup for this glitch works head over I'll link the video that we originally did uh, to clone the version 1.1.2 video where it goes a bit more in-depth with how to set the glitch up uh, so you can check that video out and you can kind of refer to both of them. Remember, it's about getting your timing right when you're on the map with clicking on the location and then clicking the X just after that. So that both the menu overlay pops up with the, the yes, no option from the fly to the location pops up as well. And then you can engage with the yes, fly to the location. And that is it all set up and you're ready to go with duping items and getting an infinite amount of them in the game. So I hope this has been useful. Hope it's helpful for you all. Have fun with this and I will see you all for another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.